So how do you exactly get these beautiful live wallpapers on your PC or these live screensavers that you would like so much? Because I've heard so many different questions about it, especially the one I get asked the most that I usually feature in every one of my videos. But recently I had just changed it up to the one as you see behind me. So I'm going to show you a couple different programs that you can use to do it. If this is your first build or your first pre-built PC that you have ever purchased and you're trying to figure out exactly how you can put that live wallpaper on, you've probably seen how difficult it actually is to get it on your PC. It's not as straightforward as you would think it is. But I'll show you the way how you can put up different GIFs or you can put different videos that you would like on the background of your PC. It's kind of ridiculous, especially for the year that we live in in 2021. Hopefully in Windows 11, it's a little bit more compatible and a little bit more friendly than it is now. I'll show you the very two different methods on how you can get some live wallpaper on your PC. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Microsoft Store and get something that's called Lively Wallpaper. If you have any questions or if you wanna look up anything, make sure you check in the description box down below because I will also have it down there as well. So first thing we're gonna do is go to this Windows button here and we're gonna go to the Microsoft Store. You're gonna go into the search icon and just type in Lively Wallpaper. You're going to see it come up. You're going to click it. And now we're going to go here. As you see lively wallpaper, just click install. You're going to click this blue box here. So after you click install, it's going to be pending and it's going to be downloading. So once it's finished downloading, as you can see, it takes up 213 megabytes of space, which isn't really all too bad. And now after it's installed, all you have to do is launch it. You're going to hit that launch button here. So once you hit that launch button, you can actually, it's going to open right up. And from there, you can actually change your wallpaper. It's going to look a little bit glitchy at first because it is a, it is kind of a beta project similar to what open RGB is. I got to say it is an open source program where you can set GIFs, you can set different types of videos, and you can even set web links to this very application here. But make sure you check out the guy's GitHub. His name is Rox Danister, and make sure you show him some love and some support at his page because this is a great application he's made. As you can see, we're at the lively setup now. So what you have to do is hit next and click start with Windows because you wanna start it. The best part about this program, it's completely free, but of course donate to the guy, especially he's probably worked so hard on it and he's even worked on windows as you can see it looks a little bit funny it's a little bit glitchy um but you can even set taskbar themes which is uh, down below as you see i have this kind of the dark theme going so but you can even set it to clear to where you don't even have the task bar showing so we'll set it to clear and the next step all we have to do is just click ok and then once you're here, you're gonna see this screen where you see Eternal White, Fluids version two. You'll see Matrix Rain customizable. You'll have all these different options that you can try out. So the first one I'll just show you, for example, now is Eternal White. So it's a beautiful sunset render. You just click it and bam, it's already active, that simple. You can load up a different videos, different GIFs if you choose to. You'll see a task bar on the side. As you see live, this is the library on the left-hand side. We're gonna click this plus button. After you click this plus button, you can actually browse to different types of video files that you would like to add to your uh, background. For example, I could set something from my Call of Duty here. If I set something to my Call of Duty here, it'll look something like this. I click, I'll click, um, let's say this one. So I'll click this one right here and I'll actually process the video. It even, it's even able to process the sound if you so choose to. So we'll just call this, you have to label it. We'll call it Call of Duty. And we can even create a preview if you would like and just click OK. So after you click OK, it's gonna just load it, it's gonna compress it, and then put it as your wallpaper. Just like that, that easy. Now it's your active wallpaper. So the very next step we're gonna do is we're gonna click add wallpaper. You can even enter 
a URL if you so choose to. Paste it into our URL here. We're gonna click forward and it's gonna process the web stream here and it should pop right up. You're gonna also have to title it, rain on Japanese and garden, sounds good. We don't need all this extra stuff here. Um, you can, we'll leave the description alone. We'll leave the author alone because it, it's his stuff anyway. And we're just gonna see how it looks on the background here. So we'll have a straight web stream. You don't even have to download the file. You don't have to download the video file and bam, you have it here. Now, it looks a little bit funky. It looks a little bit all stretched out and there's a way to fix that. I'll show you exactly how, because if you have an ultra wide monitor like me, you're gonna wanna set it correctly. So you have to go down here to settings. As you can see, it's a little bit funky. You can't complain, especially that it's free. We're gonna change this over to wallpaper here. And you can actually choose the fitment for your monitor. So I like to have a uniform fill and it should load that right away. Give it a moment. And that looks so much better. It looks a lot more natural. You have this beautiful wallpaper in the background. Let me show you. Nothing but serene, rain, and peace. So let's go here. And you can even set the type of video file that you would like it to play. Like I like to use VLC. Uh, you can use the different GIF players. You can use different streams. If you want it higher, like mine's is 1440p, I could set it 1080p plus, but of course it will take a little bit more megabytes to do that if you want to do that. And you can choose the engine from where it's running from, from CEF to MS Edge, Microsoft Edge, and you can put a place to disk cache. You can even set Let's go to general here. You could choose to start it with Windows. You could choose different languages. Um, it even has a dark mode, which we set it to. And under performance, you got applications, full screen if you want it. What, what happens, like for example, if you're playing a game, you can actually pause it so it doesn't take up so much memory or space. And also another great thing is you can also set different rules. And you gotta forgive the program a little bit as it isn't the perfect program. Uh, but you can even set different audio files here. You can choose to play audio, um, or you, if you don't want audio, you can actually turn that off. And you also have systems where you can choose it as a lock screen picture, where you got task, uh, taskbar theme, which we've done earlier. And you have miscellaneous, which is if you want it in your system taskbar. And they even have a beta mode if you so choose to join that of course you have to join the developers channel in order to do that but it is a wonderful application especially that it's free uh, and also you have the control panel up here if you have more than one screen which currently only have ultra wide but if you have more than one screen you could choose a different displays as well or you can choose to span it across different displays but it's a really great program especially that it is free and i can't complain about it honestly but if you want more out of the program you want something a little bit less glitchy and you want something to run a lot smoother i will show you that in a moment but i do want to show you one more thing about this program and if you go under your task manager here you can see exactly how much space it takes up so it looks like it takes about 20 about 44 percent 48 percent 50 percent of the gpu currently and it runs 42 percent on your on my memory which is at 32 gigabytes 40 to 50% of the GPU's power to be able to produce this wonderful, beautiful live picture. That's not all too bad. I'll show you the next method, which is something I personally use and prefer, and it's really not all too expensive. It's a different application. Uh, we're gonna go into it. So first, let's go here. We're gonna shut this one off. I'm gonna show you another one. You can go into Steam, go to the store here, and then just search wallpaper engine now usually 
If you don't have it, it will tell you to purchase it. And it's only $3.99 for this program, but this is what I personally like to use, especially that it has a ton of different features as it can work with your RGBs as well, which is a great feature if you have either IQ or Razer Chroma, it works with those RGBs as well. I'll get into the application so you can exactly see what it does offer. So after, say you do purchase it, and after you install it, you're gonna go to your library. Typically, you're gonna see something here. You're gonna probably not see a pop-up and you're like, why? I just bought it, where is it? And all you have to do is click here and click go into software. Once you go into software, you can open it right up. Once you open up Wallpaper Engine, you can choose the option of what type of wallpaper engine you would like to use. Of course, you can use the 64-bit version, but if you don't mind using up as much RAM, you can select that one. I'm just gonna run off of regular a wallpaper engine so you can see an idea of it. So let's launch it. And as you can see, my wallpaper came right up here. And when you first open it, it's gonna look something more like this. And you're probably gonna have different screensavers because these are not just the original screensavers that it usually comes with. Uh, you'll usually have Neon Sunset, that's usually the one that it comes with and a few other ones like fantastic car and everything um so in order if you want to just test it out at first uh just click a background here let's go use neon sunset and if you look on the right pane here you can actually select different scheme colors like currently i like it like say this color as it matches my rgbs or say if i want a little bit more of that pinkish color you can change it to that color you can choose the playback rate like how fast you want it to move or you want it to move like barely very creeping slow or if you want it to creep a little bit slowly you can even flip it around you can choose a different let's go like this here so you can see it a little bit better let's flip it around here you can show a little bit more of the valley add a little bit of shade to it you can add a little noise to it you can scale the mountain to be a, more like a hill like that or you can make it a tall tall mountain you could choose the different colors of the sun let's say for some reason you want the sun blue we got the blue sun here you can choose the different colors you can make a lighter blue maybe it looks more like a moon now but <laughs> and we'll make the horizon uh say a little bit like greenish looks like alaska or something now right um so you can choose the different clouds you and um it, you can see how customizable how open this program is and how easy it runs next if i run something like this retro look and which i personally like because it matches my rgbs the most you can even set it to corsair collection which is another great one as it will match your interface you can set it to um let's say brick as i highlight around it you can see the different colors so let me show you and introduce to you how you can cruise through wallpaper engine it's actually really really easy to do you can configure wallpaper you can configure your screensaver let's just go straight to discover it. and this is how you can find different types of backgrounds here so most people are asking what type of background you have for this music what kind of background and i'll show you exactly what i have is use the search method and it's called abstract liquid so we're going to type abstract liquid here and this is the one i have installed in my pc so all you have to do is subscribe to this very member here and once you subscribe it will come up and now you can go into the properties and choose the different themes that you would like. You could choose black, you could choose white. Um, but I'll just have this black theme here, no volume. You could also set volume here. So if it has some sort of music to it, you can set it as um, you could set the playback rate. You can make it a little bit faster or a little bit slower. And you could use it to fill, which I personally like is the fill. It makes it look a little bit more clear and you can also choose the position of where you would like your abstract liquid too. Um, you could use the arrow keys to help move it 
which I personally like to do to be a little bit more precise. And you also have color options. You can choose the brightness of it. You can choose it to be a little bit more darker here. You can change it to be a little bit lighter. The contrast, you have a little less ground contrast, raise up the saturation a little bit. And now it has this really, really beautiful look to it. So you do have options like that. That is the wonderful thing about wallpaper engine. Let me go into the taskbar, into task manager. And it's about 42% memory. And it's about between 42 to 50% GPU usage. Let me show you, introduce to you the settings in wallpaper engine here. And this also, these are some important things that you need to know in order to use it. If you play any type of games, you can also pause this so it doesn't take up as much GPU usage. Uh, when other applications are focused, you could also use it running or you can pause it when you use other applications. If other applications playing audio, you can also choose to keep it running. If it's this, if the display is asleep, you can put it, you can stop it so it helps free up the memory so it doesn't lag as you can choose the texture resolution, the post processing, and you can go under general. You could start it with Windows, but typically I, I have it to start with Windows, but I usually set it to save start because I don't need it to take up so much space in the beginning, especially when it loads up all your software and applications. Um, you could also adjust Windows color if you choose to here. So you could also use monitor identification. Um, you could unpause the uh, arrow peak if you want. And the different applications such as this is important, especially if you use RGBs. You could even choose di different dinosaurs here. You could use Dokes. You could use Glacier. You could go Country, um, Mario style. It's just a really, really awesome program. You could even play with it. And I gotta talk to you about ExpressVPN. Hey fam, man, guys, if you don't have a virtual private network, a VPN, then you're surfing the net unsecured. Hackers can know your bank information, and besides, you can do really cool things, such as watch your favorite movies that you can't watch here in the US, such as uh, currently I'm connected to Hong Kong's network, and I can go here onto Netflix and watch something that I can't watch here in the US. Now I can watch something cool like this, something here I can't watch in the US. So get ExpressVPN. If you want to get ExpressVPN, I have it exclusively for you, fam bam, for two months free. And you can try it out and it's also great for gaming. Hey fam bam, guys, I hope you found this video very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy content just like this, make sure you get down and hit the subscribe button for more to join the big wonderful fam bam. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here as it is the same for my TikTok and IG as well. Hey fam bam, guys, what are some of your favorite live wallpapers? Please share it down below because I'm sure everybody would love to know what are some of your favorite customizations that you can do with your wallpaper. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.